Oh gosh, Miss Martha. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, I didn't want to yell at you. Uh, so what can you not do? I know. <laughs> <laughs>what is going on pom pom gang welcome back to our youtube channel pom pom sisters and my name is shantae and today i am repurposing an old dresser so um i didn't want to throw the dresser out i did want to repurpose it and we are changing it into an entertainment center to go into my husband's man cave we're redoing his room and he needs the furniture to hold all of his crap so we're going to start off by stripping off that varnish that nice glossy sheen that's on the top so it can make sanding go a little bit easier for me so for the stripping we will be using a stripping gel so you're going to use a paintbrush and you just paint all over it put a nice thick coat because we'll make sure it's going to penetrate that sheen and um, help scrape it off and then we let it sit on there for a couple of hours I believe I left mines on there for at least six hours I ended up leaving the house and running errands and we'll come back and scrape it off with a hand scraper I've let this sit for a couple of hours and then I will use a metal scraper to scrape it off off the instructions say to use a plastic one but I had a metal one at the house so if you are going to use the metal one I suggest that you be a little delicate with scraping that wood because you don't want to indent the wood and end up having scars going all across your wood when you do scrape I go with the grain and by with the grain those lines that you see in your wood if majority of them are going horizontal or vertical that that's the way you want to scrape it so I scrape all that off and this is the next morning as you can see the stripping gel didn't take everything off it did take off majority of it so I'm hoping that my sander will finish the job so we're going to go in and start sanding I have also stripped the drawer faces as well and that pile of wood will be the shelves to insert into the drawer openings to create those shelves for all his belongings now let's start sanding i will be using my orbital orbital sander and it you can buy like a very cheap one for as low as twenty dollars i spent a little bit more money on mine so i paid about 30 35 dollars for mine and that's because i do have a lot of projects that i use for woodworking so when sanding same thing go with the grain try not to go against it because it can end up messing up your wood and you can get indents that you don't want in your wood so you want it to remain kind of polished so we're going to fast forward through all this because sanding is very time consuming um, i am going in with a fine grit sandpaper this is a soft wood you don't want to go with anything too coarse and then once you're done uh, sanding just wipe off all that dust and debris now originally i was going to keep the top three drawers but um, my husband didn't change his mind and wanted the middle one to be free as a and be built into a shelf so i'm just taking off that hardware and it just takes a hammer and some uh, a flat a flathead screwdriver and just pop those things right on off and then unscrew where the drawer catches to slide in and out so once we are complete with all that, it is now time to install our shelves. Now, um, I went to Lowe's to purchase my wood and they also will cut your wood down to size for free. So if you don't have a handheld saw like I do, or if you're not good with handling a saw, Lowe's will cut them down. You just need to go in there with your measurements, tell them what you need, and they'll mark it up for you even load your vehicle for you so ladies if you feel like this is just like too much for you it really is just so easy a lot of hardware stores cut down the wood for you so I will be going in with some wood glue to secure it down and then sealing it all off with some nails now make sure your nails are fit to size and they won't go through on the other side that has happened to me plenty of times where I'm using the wrong size nail it's either too big or too small so make sure you measure to make sure your nail isn't going to go through it and it's not going to puncture your shelves too badly of course handyman clearance has 
a nail gun and compressor. So if you do not have that equipment, just get you a hammer and some nails and it'll work just as fine. It won't be as quick though. So I invested in one and I absolutely love this thing. I, I hate having to fill up the compressor tank though because I just feel like it's always going to explode, but it doesn't. It doesn't explode on you. But my anxiety, the way I'm, you know, hardwired, I, I have to like walk away when it's filling up and it makes this loud noise. But either way, so I'm fast forwarding through putting in my shelves. And as you can see, I am clamping it to make sure that wood glue doesn't move or slide anywhere. And then just go in with that handy dandy nail gun and you're good to go. So all is going pretty well as far as putting the shelves in. Um, and if you've noticed, I've only did the two in the middle and Christian now wants this middle piece, which I was gonna keep the drawer for, to also be a shelf. So I went to Lowe's, bought some more wood and had them cut it to size. Of course, not all pieces are going to be the exact same. I've kind of learned that with working with wood that there's just no such thing as an exact or a perfect cut. Like, you just got to make do what you do. So, um, this is no problem. We can either take wood fill or caulking to fill in the crease. We'll get to that part later. Right now, I just want to get the shelves in before we do anything else. Um, now, the problem I've run into is the bottom shelves down here in this one top shelf that we'll be building in my wood doesn't fit it's hanging out sorry i'm on my phone so it's hanging out some um which we don't want and that's because there's a wood back here that is blocking it from going flush all the way back right here so i've marked a little mark where we're gonna make a little notch cut it out using um one of my little handheld saws um, will cut it out so it can sit flush against this wall and we can nail it and wood glue it in there so that is what I need to do now before I can finish the rest of the shelves so the goal today is to at least get the shelves in and nailed down <sighs> so almost there almost the hard part is almost over so to cut my notch that I need little tiny notch right here at the top so that my shelf can fit in completely I'll be using my oscillating oscillating I believe I'm pronouncing that right tool and it's perfect for just getting really really small areas it has a nice small blade and it vibrates really really fast to help cut what I need so I probably I just need probably about down to here and maybe a half half inch of that going into the wood and that'll be enough for my wood to fit in very very simple to use um the only thing I don't like about this tool is um the vibration kind of messes with my forearms a little bit but we shouldn't need it for too long I think I can handle it if not we'll just have Christian come out here and do it safety first ladies and gentlemen so get your gloves ready and your eyewear prepared whenever using power tools and we're gonna go ahead and create that notch so that that shell fits in perfectly so my apologies the video is kind of shaky I had it sitting on the dresser while I'm trying to cut the wood but there is our nice small notch that we had to create and make sure that shell fits in there nice and flush The shelves are now complete. They look so good, don't they? So at this point, we are caulking um, those edges. So like I showed y'all before, there were some gaps in between some of my wood. This is where that problem gets solved. We're caulking that all down and I'm using some regular caulking, like just it's for door trends and stuff like that. Like. It, you, you don't need anything too crazy um, especially since it'll get painted over and all that good stuff so when caulking um, I use a glove because you have to like slide your hand down there to make sure it gets in that crease and has that nice clean seal um, so I didn't want that stuff to get all in my nails so I put a freaking latex glove on had me a little bottle of water or a bowl of water to the side because your hand has to be wet so keep your hand wet it, and it works so much better when your finger is wet anyway so that's what we're doing here 
I love caulking. I don't know why. I feel like it's like plain and putty. And it's so easy. Like, um, I was extremely messy with it. You, you should be able, try to strive to be a little cleaner than I was, but I, I didn't mind it because we're going to go back and sand it and make it look nice and clean anyway. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to allow this to dry overnight. The next day after the caulking has dried, we are going in with the orbital sander to sand off all of the gunkiness that I applied using the caulking. So we're just making sure it's nice and smooth so we can begin painting the insides of the shelves. So I wanted this to look kind of manly and rustic looking. So I'm painting the insides of the shelves black. And um, my original plan was to stain the dresser on the outside, but we're just gonna paint that like an elephant gray. So sanding and now painting. Once we're done sanding down that caulking area, we are going to go ahead and soften those edges that we used to uh, build the shelves. Um, those edges can be very, very sharp and can hurt like hell if you rub against them the wrong way. So I'm just softening those corners right there, giving them a more rounded edge so they're not so pointy. Um, and this makes it look clean and uniform as well. And it helps with not injuring yourself. And I'm saying this because I have injured myself before because of them damn edges. So soften those edges. After that, we will begin painting. I am painting the inside shelves in a chalk paint in the color ink by Waverly. And I love chalk paint. It's just so easy to use and it takes minimal prep when using it. So if you don't really care for sanding and stripping, chalk paint is probably the best way to go. So I'm using a foam roller that I had left over from repainting my cabinets and we are going to paint those bad boys black. I will be doing two coats and allowing it to dry um, and then we'll start working on the outside. Now I had ran into some, a dilemma when trying to do the outside because originally I said I wanted to stain it a gray and this is what it looked like after I had stained it and it was a nope for me. So I went back to Walmart and picked up another thing of chalk paint and it is in the color elephant gray. And so we'll be using that to paint instead of trying to stain it. Painting is so therapeutic for me, whether it's painting furniture, wall, or canvas, it just takes me to my happy place. So we're going to paint the entire surface of the dresser as well as the face of the drawers and allow those to dry and then go in with a clear coat. And I went in with a matte finish clear coat and this is what it looks like semi-dry. And I also decided to change out my hardware for something a little bit more rustic, drilled some new holes for that. And I also had Babe drill some new holes for his wire so he can have a better wire management in the back of it. So this is a completed look of his dresser turned entertainment center. And the man cave makeover is complete. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please click that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. Let me know if y'all wanna see more furniture, remakeovers, all that good stuff. Thank you.